Okay, you see that, my friends? That's a feather, a turkey feather. So is that. And so is this Greg sent me from this sample. There's the top of the feather. There's the bottom of the feather. That's a pretty thick feather. And that's what a normal feather looks like. So, you know, you got a little bit of scale size here to work with. Now, he's out on site looking at these things and understanding what he's looking at now. He was out there before, he didn't understand it. Now he understands it. And I'll show you what he just found. All right, so here he is out on site. And this is the same thing like this right here. Now, watch what he does. He's looking at and this, and you see his hand on there. This one's even bigger than the one I than than the one he sent me before. Now, watch what happens here. Hold on. He's he's looking at the side of it, and then he's looking at the feathers coming down the back, and he's understanding this time. He never understood before, and he's looking at the feathers. Do you see the feather prints right there? It's just exactly what I showed you a second ago. I, I think I showed you, or I will show you. And now he's coming down to the tip of the feather at the very end. All right, he's pointing out all these patterns that are in here and all of these little articulations that are extremely fine. And you would have to have like an electron microscope to see this, really almost. The ones I was showing you, you we're not into that level of, of detail. This is just absolutely enormous. Now, he's coming down to the tip of the feather. The end of the tip of the feather you'll see in a second. I believe this is the one that shows it. Yeah, he's coming down. Here we go. Okay, now, so here's the t feather going this way. All right, it's running down this way. And then it's going to taper in just like, you see how, you see this, the feathering pattern of this? It tapers in like this. It's a goose head. I've got so much of this stuff, it's absolutely unbelievable. They came little, they came gigantic. Now, it tapers down. This is the feathers. I showed you this very clearly. Now watch, at the very end, I don't think he realized what he's got there. Boom, I gotta stop there, because it only goes for another two seconds. That's the end of the tip of the feather. They all change colors at the very tip as, as they come in, they, they have a patterning of different, I don't know why, but they all do that, the ones I've found. So um, that's what he has. And he's got a ton, a ton, a ton of videos. And this time he knew exactly what he was doing. I don't know, he's been out there for a couple of weeks, I think. So, uh, and then he had another one. Let me just show you how steep these things are and how big these creatures, or this creature was. All right, let me tell you something. This is no hill in your backyard. Watch this. Here he is. Look down here. That's where the river is down. Look at how steep this is. Now, you see in here, these are all dragon, uh, well, they are. They're, they're feathered serpents. It was the feathered serpent. These are all the scales all over the place. And he, it, this only runs another 10 or 15 seconds. But it, it, there's a lot of fragmentation now, obviously, but there's still a lot of scales. As you come down here, you'll see some scales. Well, they're not scales, they're feathers, but they, they um, it's called the feathered serpent. And I'll show you where it is on, on Google Earth. You can go up and look at it. Um, but these are all the like feathers coming down, but mostly it's smashed and broken down. That tree saved it. But you can see some of them over here. These are the same sort of patterns that we were just looking at a minute ago. All right, now, let me show you something else. Now, don't forget, this is what Greg's hand is on right now, something just like that. And then on the side is this stuff which is what he's going to show you right in a second. Watch this. It's exactly what he will show you going down the side. And his, his feather is huge Watch compared to this. Is. Look. Look at his size. This is what he's showing you is this. Only here's his hand. And it's like, a, you know, a, 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 this is what he's showing you. And he, you, he just came from this spot or this spot, one or the other, It's a, because it's a feather. And it's got a top and a bottom, and that's what's in between. Absolutely enormous. Absolutely 
absolutely look at, the side of look at the size of this thing unbelievable I was going to go further with this but I'm not going to do it today I got so much to do here and I want you to get your your, your mind thinking because everything is way different than you thought just go out and start looking that's a no-to that's a new species nobody's ever seen before that's where the your big bone goes right there the um, tibia and the little bone sits there, the fibula. And that's where, the, that's where that impacts. That impacts, you see it? And this impacts. There was a pad that came around like that. They all had this. <laughs> so don't think that there's nothing to be seen and that you have to listen to somebody because they'll tell you that that's a rock. When we know now that's a bone. That's obviously a bone. It, and it's, it is a rock now because of something called nucleophilic invasion, they don't understand it, nucleophilic substitution. They think everything's feldspar. No, it's not. It's only a coating of feldspar because that's the fabric of life. And they all have it, even feathers. This is identical to the fabric that's on this, to the fabric that is on that. And I've shown them all in a microscope, and they go, oh, that's just feldspar. We'll call it anything you want. I can tell you what, it's a fabric of life. Now, gigantic feathers don't have that fabric. They have gigantic feathers. <laughs> it's what it is what it is. Time to see what it is and talk about what it really is. Instead of walking around in circles and calling people names for doing the actual research. All right, thank you. I'm going to go back to doing some actual research.